So this is our final video on drawing conventions and in this video we're just going to be taking a quick look at a sample drawing and looking at some of the conventions that have been used to help produce that drawing. Okay, so here's our sample problem. We've got this cast iron arm. So let's just take a look at the conventions we have used here. So firstly we've got our date third angle projection noted down in the title block and as for conventions the first thing is we've got all our center lines so we've got center lines on each hole and going through each hole here and so we've got center lines here here and up through this part here and we've also got it going down this webbing section here to indicate that we have symmetry either side of that line we have shown that we've got threaded holes so on our top view here you can see we have an internal thread and then we've shown that again here on this section viewed here. We've also included our sectioning paths and we've labelled them. So you can see we've got this section AA where we start here, move through these first two holes and then we jump up and move through this threaded hole and then we travel up on the angle along this arm here. And you can also see we've also got a section BB and we have labelled each section respectively. So we've got section AA here and section BB here. We have also rotated this arm as well. This arm has been effectively moved down to here for when we've done our drawing of it down here. So we had section labels which I already covered. We've got our 45 degree hatching lines and we are consistent with our lines angle and spacing when we are going through the one part since we want to indicate that it is all one part. So you can see we also have not sectioned our thin web which was one of the conventions we talked about. And so that's about all the different conventions we have used. Now one point of note is that this section BB up here. Now hopefully some of you may have noticed that this is in fact a first angle projection. The reason we've done this is because it's actually the best way to represent this part of the shape. So we've got our section where we've sectioned here. So we've labeled that. Now if we were to have the arrows on the other side and have this section as a third angle projection that would mean we would have to move this section all the way down to about here where my mouse is now. Moving at that distance having to look at it across all this material here it's a bit clumsy and could possibly add more confusion than having our first angle projection here. We also can't just include a regular third angle projection looking from say this direction here or having a section just here because this in fact is not a third angle projection due to this rotation here. So by having this first angle projection here it is in fact the clearest way of representing this section.